Hi guys, it's Ian Miles here and so today I'm going to be talking to you about the various dynamics that are involved when approaching larger groups of women and I'm also going to be showing you with some real life infield footage where I actually cold approach a large group of really gorgeous girls. Now in case you haven't done so already guys, don't forget to follow me on my various social media pages which you can find on the screen right down, right down below. Now guys, approaching girls in larger groups is so beneficial for you and in order for you to succeed in your dating life because you see beautiful women, beautiful women are seldom alone. Now of course you know you can on occasion find hot girls kind of walking on their own however you really can't rely on these kind of diamonds to appear out of the blue and so you really need a foolproof strategy in order to get them. So anyway before we get bogged down with a kind of nitty gritty why don't I show you a piece of infield footage where I attract a girl from a larger group so let's check it out. My name's Ian. What? My name's Ian. What are you guys up to now? No. We, just we don't know yet. We were just passing through, seeing all the bars and clubs. <coughs> we are and just well, looking this yeah. architecture, you know. You're Virgo. <laughs> Thank you. Leo's in uh, August. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Libra is in October. Yeah, like September, October. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. September, October, yeah. yeah. But I, it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She was studying there. Oh, she, oh, she was studying yeah. there. Like but she, she, didn't, she didn't pass. Yeah, no, I passed. Ah, why, why was she laughing? Because it was just crazy. You two look Spanish. She looks... Swedish. 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 Ah! <laughs> Don't. Swedish language. Yes, blondie, blondie. Think, who's the leader? Cheers. <laughs> do you use like WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah. Or anything like that? Yeah. Just, um, maybe I can message you? Yeah, of course. So. Now guys, the best, best advice that I can give you in order to succeed in this avenue of dating is really to work on that mindset. Now you need to work on your mindset, but specifically, you need to kind of cultivate and build that sort of mindset where you want to challenge yourself. Now you basically, you need to develop a kind of a competitive type mindset as this will help you to kind of detach yourself from that fear of the approach and from the fear of, say, approaching a group of girls. Now, so when you go about doing this stuff, really try try to kind of embrace that competitiveness of this and really try to find that competitive side to this as this will help you to succeed. Okay, but look, don't misunderstand me here is I'm not saying that, you know, you have to compete with others and I'm not saying that you have to say compete with your friends or even compete with the guys that say you're going out with. No. Now what I mean is you have to kind of compete with yourself. In fact, think of it as, you know, you competing with that kind of inner part or that inner demon of which you know which you're scared of so think of it as if you're trying to prove to that fearful part of you that it's got it totally wrong you know you stubbornly try to prove to it that you are right and it should listen to you now we kind of need to kind of emotionally elevate ourselves and affirm to ourselves that we want to compete against it and this really is the mindset that you want to cultivate I mean look without this competitive attitude you're going to doubt yourself when you're out and you're going to begin to procrastinate as those negative thoughts and those negative beliefs are just going to pop up in your head and this is going to prevent you from taking all of that action. Okay, so my advice to you is really try to find and try to discover that competitiveness inside of you when you're out and when you're about. Now guys, it is like a muscle and it doesn't come out of thin air. So you really need to develop it and you need to work on it over time but you, you will eventually learn how to embrace it so don't you worry. I mean look, you sometimes you need to look at your yourself from that third person and you sometimes need to take that step back step outside of your body and just look at yourself from that perspective and you see that observer or that watcher has that power to make those changes and has that ability to get that competition started within yourself so when you go out and about really try to uh, detach yourself and get that competition fired up in fact sometimes it's useful to go through these mental exercises right before you go out now it's good to
to do this as it focuses the mind on what you're going to do and on the action that you're going to take. And it's kind of like an affirmation, I suppose, except it's more of a visual exercise, if you know what I mean. Okay, look, I always recommend my clients that they take at least 30 minutes of their time prior to going out to really focus on this. So really try to visualize yourself winning in those situations and competing with those inner demons. Now really try to visualize yourself proving that that fearful part of you is wrong and go about it in a stubborn way as this will really elevate you emotionally and it will allow you to take loads of action. So this nicely leads me on to my next point which will naturally come about when you do this exercise. Now you really need to try to get into that habit of approaching everyone in order to overcome your fear of approaching those girls in those big groups. Just get into the habit of not assessing each situation as you see them. I mean who cares if they're say huddled around in a circle and talking and who cares if they're really loud and if they're ambling down the road and if they're laughing and who cares if they're on their phones and they're looking really serious. Look it doesn't matter because look ultimately there will be an infinite number of these situations that can arise and we can't have a separate strategy for each of these individual situations. That would just be impossible as we can't predict the future. So just accept that you have to tackle it there and then. Now going back to the footage of the three girls I showed you, I actually initially approached them when they were kind of walking in a really packed crowd and when I came near to them, in fact I actually initially had my eyes set out on the blondie and when I came to her there were so many people around, there were guys around her, there were other women around her and it was quite an open position but I didn't let that bother me at all. Actually when I approached her I was squashed into this really small space which brought me quite close to her personal space which is not always a good idea when you do a cold approach and I was look I was confined to this space but I didn't let it bother me either and you know I continued with the interaction so look try not to overthink the situation too much beforehand and really try to get into the habit of approaching groups of girls in, in any kind of situation guys just relax and let go of what you think will happen if you approach them for bad and or even for good now learn to let go and get into the habit of taking that initial leap. Now as I mentioned before, think of it as a competition and think of it as a challenge and see it as a challenge rather than something that is difficult or that is hard to do. And it, look, it's all about your mindset here. I mean of course, look, there will be times when it might feel impossible to approach that group of girls and you might think that, look, there's a higher degree of humiliation involved if something goes wrong but that is nonsense. It will be fine and look, just give it a go and take that plunge. So at this stage you're probably thinking that it's all easier said than done. Well guys look another way in which you can overcome the fear of approaching those larger groups of women is simply by going out more often. Now interestingly the other day one of my clients asked me how often do I go out and you know when I told him how often I really go out he was quite shocked and stunned. Guys I only go out either when I'm being filmed or when I'm coaching clients and I don't really go out out leisurely as I feel that you know I've overcome that fear of, of approaching girls in groups and in any sort of situation. Look however don't get me wrong here when you're starting off you need to go out much more often. You need to be going out and you need to be practicing and you need to be developing this competency as look unfortunately there is no magic pill and there is no magic formula out there. I mean I wish I really do wish that I could give you and teach you everything that I know and just implant you with my competency in, in this but unfortunately I can't and I'm not Skynet but don't worry as you'll eventually get into the rhythm of it you'll eventually get into the rhythm of going out and interacting with those groups of women and when you go out more often you'll get so much more calibrated and you'll become very indifferent to approaching larger groups of girls and you will really get into the rhythm of going out and the conversations will feel so much more natural. Now guys they say that approaching larger groups of girls is more difficult but that is utter rubbish. It is actually much more fun and it feels great when you can win over a group of girls. And look you need to try it to believe it. I mean come on what is the worst that could happen? Look a group of pretty girls won't attack you and even if they do and even if they do kidnap you and, and make you a sex slave it's alright look there are worse things in this world. And look there are so many benefits to it too. You'll become so much sharper when you go out and you become so much wittier too. So what else could possibly
possibly be the benefit of all of this, all of this anguish and all of this hard work that I'm telling you to go through? Well, think about it for a second. The major benefit of winning her over when her friends are actually there, when her friends are present, is that, look, she won't need to be thinking about introducing you to her friends later on. And this really plays upon a lot of women's minds when they meet someone new. So basically, the girl will feel far more relaxed as a result and she won't need to worry about you being accepted by her social circle of friends or not as you've pretty much approached her when her social circle are around. So how else can we benefit from doing this? Well guys, come on now. There is nothing to say that you can't take each and every one of them, that's all of the girls, for drinks and bring them back to your place. Now don't listen to what these so-called self-proclaimed dating experts say when they say that you should only approach girls on their own or you'll have more success when the girls are on their own. It's absolute rubbish. I mean, I approach girls in all sorts of situations, whether they're on their own or whether they're in larger groups, and it doesn't really matter. And I've taken countless numbers of girls home when they're in groups of, say, even two or three. It's really not as impossible as you think it might be. And look, I'm not saying that you will hook up with all of them, which actually could happen too, but it's, look, it's great fun to bring them back and have a party with all of them. And look, you can then focus on, on your girl, that, the girl that you fancy when the party's going on. So you, look, it's really not an issue at all. Anyway, that is all I have for you today, unfortunately, but I hope that you found this video really helpful. And guys, if you'd like to become a master of the ladies, I would highly recommend that you have a look at our residential training program. Now, it's a 70 hour plus program where we will teach you everything that we know about dating. And we will take you out everywhere. We'll take you out to the bars, we'll take you out to the nightclubs, and we'll even, even take you out during the daytime. And guys, this is not another one of those cliche boot camps where you're just treated as just another number, another number of a larger group of guys. No, this is an exclusive, this is a one-on-one -on -one training course. So you will benefit from us literally being by your side all the time. So if you're interested in, in this, then please do click on the link in the video description right down below and also click on the card right above and it will take you to the Karma Lifestyles residential page. Now guys, I will be back with much, much more action-packed footage for you, so do stay tuned. I'm Ian Miles and I'll see you next time.